All right, George. Free! Turbo! <laughs> Turbo! Come on! Turbo! George! Come on! You're free! Come on, Turbo! You're free! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what to think. <laughs> well, they were already looking over there at the farthest thing to get away. Hey. Go for a walk. I was Just like, where can I, how can I get out of here? <laughs> I know, it's tractor scared them. <laughs> Eating snow? Great. Oh, boy. Mmm. Wow. Okay, well, wow. that's the most exciting thing is snow. <laughs> yeah. Snow ah! cones. Shanzi! Oh, it's bright out here, eh? Look yeah, at her. She's like squinting. squinting. <laughs> the goats, everybody was out here. Oh, boy. What are you doing? He says, you're crazy. <laughs> Jasper, what are you doing? Well, yeah, walk around them. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the tractor I just started to get out of here. And it's <sighs> what do you think? That's as far as you can go, though. Right? <laughs> the goats are already all out, too. Uh. Good, George! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, George? Hey? Oh, out in the sun? Yes! Right, George. <laughs> Come on, Turbo, you got it in ya. <laughs> hey. What is George it? George is like, Come on. Oh. Are you too old to bounce? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> George! 
George! Hey, George! Hey, Turbo! Bouncy, 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 The wonderful thing about sheep is they like to bounce. <laughs> You can feel how it's melting though. It's my feeder. <laughs> nice tough. I know. <laughs> the tough Come on, Turbo! <laughs> Come on, Turbo! Come on, George! Go! Come on, Turbo! I think you're just freaking yeah. Turbo out. He's like, calm down, Mom. <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. Mark here, my wife Tara, daughter Tiana, and uh, we uh, are uh, wagoning something out. Why are we taking water out, Tara? Because my water hose froze for the animals. <laughs> so and our well water. is actually right there. Uh, and when we uh, first moved out to the property, we had a uh, trailer that was parked over here. Uh, so we had our water line that ran through. When the house was built, uh, they just uh, connected to that line and went to the house. But underneath the driveway here, um, we're suspecting with all the cold temperatures that we had, uh, the frost got into the ground and froze the line. Now, we have heat trace that runs on the outside of the line, but uh, it had failed, so we put heat trace inside the pipe. And I'm thinking either the heat trace failed, it's still warm on the uh, one end where it's plugged in, uh, but it may be even frozen down in this area here. So we'll have to check the heat line. Good morning, Carl. Levi, how you doing? Spring's coming, isn't it? Are you excited? <laughs> Billy, stinky boy. Yeah, are you gonna eat my finger? <laughs> oh, and Meadow and Daisy in the building. Daisy, how you doing, girl? <laughs> you just like staying inside, don't you? Uh, yeah, and you like bothering her. <sighs> uh, oh, <coughs> friends. Don't friends just annoy each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy loves her. <laughs> Don't you? Do you love Daisy? <laughs> Everybody's getting hay. We've got water. And we're just waiting for the snow to melt. So, uh, the forecast, the 14-day forecast is showing still below freezing temperatures into mid-March. Uh, it's kind of hit and miss uh, year to year. Sometimes we've got uh, all the snow gone uh, by around this time of year, um, but we sometimes Carl. get a snowfall at the end of March. Hi Carl. Hey. So I think it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be hit and miss end of the uh, end of the month. Hey. Oh, Carl likes to play. <laughs> he loves his mom. Yeah. <laughs> right, you see it doesn't headbutt him. Yeah. He has respect. He'll rear up, but he won't actually uh, come down and make contact. <laughs> uh, I think Meadow thought, uh, thought he was going after her. <laughs> Hi, handsome. Hey, you gonna braid your beard this year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I braid that thing. Tara's wearing uh, our new merch. Our that's the alpaca. This is Marley. Sheep blend. This is not just alpaca. Oh, it's just uh, it's just alpaca. Yeah. So we don't have anything on uh, on our website on it. We've just been working off Facebook. So messaging on Facebook yeah. uh, to, uh, to sell them. Alpaca and sheep, this 
Alpacas are $75. And just message me. Sheep are $60. Um, Facebook has all our stuff. It's just, it just takes too much time to do it both right now. Once we have a lot, or if we ever have a lot, because it sells out or it, it goes quick. Yeah, so, we just don't have, uh, she can't make up <laughs> as much since They're all handmade hand, by me yeah. and Tiana. So, so it's limited issue. Yes. <laughs> We don't need to sell out of them quick because they're, they're, we won't have any left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, everybody's fed out here. Yeah. Morning, everybody. Morning, ladies. Yeah, considerably warmer in here, especially when that sun comes out. Yeah. And this is, this is going to be interesting to clean out in the spring. So this is the first year in having this enclosure. So eh, it looks like it's probably, you know, this gate here, we've had to kind of dig out. It'll open up on both sides. Uh, we're probably looking at about six inches of uh, material. So we've been putting down, putting down hay just to, uh, you know, keep it a little bit warmer so that they're just not on frozen ground. And, uh, but it seems to be, uh, seems to be doing well. Right guys? What do you guys think? <laughs> Morning girls. <laughs> Female rabbits in here, pigeons. And male rabbits on this side. Yeah, and Muscovy's up top. <laughs> so one thing I uh, had just noticed is uh, our electric fence. I put this up here because the, the pigeons were pooping on it. Um, but I've only got two green lights on the top of that. So, you know, that snow load that's on the, uh, on the fence line, that seems to be drawing down some power. Uh, we don't necessarily need the electric fence during the winter months, especially this uh, time of year, because, uh, well, the animals just don't wander that much. Well, looks like everybody's just heading out after feed. Oh, we still got uh, Petunia, Wacky. Come on, Petunia. Look at how big and round you are. <laughs> so next weekend we'll be uh, getting the barn ready. For... Okay, keep going, Blackie. Move your bum. Move <laughs> your bum. <laughs> uh, next, uh, next weekend we'll be getting everything ready, everything cleaned up uh, for uh, kitten season. Well, good morning. Hi! How's Lexi doing? Oh, wants food. Oh, yeah. Fresh hay. Fresh hay is always good. Hi! Yeah! Uh, so, the end of this month is when we're going to bring the mamas in. We're going to shuffle uh, everybody around. Uh, these guys here will probably end up going outside as we bring the... Uh, the mamas to be inside. And of course, uh, this boy here, Fernando, he's going to go outside as well. We'll clean up this pen. Uh, I've got some cameras in here. Um, that pen doesn't have any cameras. We're going to set up uh, a bunch of new cameras uh, in all of these pens to act as a uh, baby monitor just to keep an eye on uh, everybody. There's Chevalina. And Dave is still kicking around. There's Dave. Hi Dave, your hay bales, his hay bales are all gone, so now he's kind of forced to be, uh, to be around, out and about. Uh, chickens, we're going to be, um, well, on the other side of that door is a lot of snow, so uh, I think we, what we want to do is we want to open that up and at least get the door open. Uh, these girls probably aren't going to go too far. Uh, but it's just transitioning them to uh, to go outside so that these areas can get clean. Hi, Piper. Uh, no. 
Petey. You guys already ate. Hey, you guys already ate. What, you want more? Yeah. All right, so uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, the, um, the animals can now go outside. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> hey. So um, the, uh, the tractor, the Kubota tractor, worked really well in getting through the gate. Uh, Tara had an idea in her head on where everything was. Uh, you know, like tires, there's one there, there's one there. We know that this general area is pretty clear. Uh, she would, didn't want to go too, too far because there are some other obstacles that we don't want to hit. Ah, some grains. Have the grains outside like we used to do. They gotta find them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they get a little bit of snow along with it. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Yeah, they like the snow. They've been going through a lot less water. So. <laughs> now that they're outside, they have uh, access to as much snow as they want. Well, they had, they were outside. They just didn't want to trunk through the. Well, things. yeah, it was just the door or opening area. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you can get an idea on how much snow we do have. Uh, we've got, I don't know, there's probably three, three to four feet uh, in some areas. So. This is the gate that the uh, the Kubota actually fits in nicely. And if you can look over here, so we've got the fence. So this fence is just over four feet tall. And if you go over, you can't see the top of the fence right over there. Uh, so what had happened uh, earlier this week is Toby actually went, uh, the dog pen is just on the other side of that fence. Uh, Toby was wandering around and uh, we thought he would go through the snow, but he was actually on top of it. And then uh, Danny the squirrel uh, was spotted. So she was spotted over on the fence and Toby saw her. And of course, uh, being a West Highland White Terrier or a terrier uh, at all, uh, he just bolted and headed over. Uh, Danny successfully got away. So another reason why we wanted to clear this area out is because right actually where the animals are is a swale. Uh, and that swale draws the water away from the building here and down over to the trench. And then of course the pond, which will likely overflow this here. Uh, so we wanted to, um, and, and we probably will snow blow a little bit more as time goes on. We wanted to get as much snow out of this area so it would, uh, it would dry out. Uh, now, this area here slopes over into this direction, which goes over to the driveway. We do get some uh, localized uh, surface water here, but it usually only lasts for a few days, so it's not too, too bad. All right, as they uh, go and nibble on their grains, I'll head back in here and see what everybody else is uh, up to this year. <laughs> I usually don't hit my head on this because this is about six and a half feet off of the ground. I'm about six feet, five foot uh, 11. Uh, but this ground here is uh, is up by that much. So I now have to uh, duck to get under. Well, the alpacas decide they don't want any grains. They just want to uh, be out here. How are our little kids doing? Call them little kids, but Sheldon's, uh, what, Sheldon's like four years old now? Yeah. I think he's four, somewhere around there. Four or five. Yeah. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so excited. <laughs> uh, so this is, there's quite a bit of hay in this area here too. Uh, so with the, uh, with the new tractor, uh, we'll be able to come in. We'll probably have to disconnect some of these um, here so we can kind of drag out uh, that way. We may have to um, rethink this wall here uh, to take it off and then um, so we can easily take it off in the spring and put it back on. Maybe uh, putting pins in so that whole wall comes off in one section and then we can drive the, uh, the tractor into here. Sound good, Tiana? Yep. All right, so you want me to take a picture of Ritzy and Scooby. And Scooby. She yeah. keeps forgetting her, um, My her phone. camera. Yeah. So um, we'll go in and we'll, uh, we'll take a photo or a couple photos of the two of them. Hey, Jasper. Enjoying? 
Good. Okay, and here they are. Ha ha ha, Ritzy and Scooby. <laughs> uh, the size difference. I think Tiana wants me to uh, get a photo of their size difference. So we'll do that. So this is our water setup. Uh, the black pipe down here is the line that goes to the well. Uh, it comes up, it's got a main valve here, and this is the heat trace that goes down. It probably goes down about 30 or 40 feet uh, through the pipe, but not all the way to the well. So what I'm gonna do here is I picked this up. This is a pretty handy contraption. You can buy them, I think they're like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, but what you do is you plug it in to the wall, uh, and then you plug whatever you're monitoring into it, and it'll tell you uh, how many amps it's running, how many um, wattage, what the wattage is. So what I'm expecting to find here is, uh, if we have about 30, 30, 40 feet, we should be getting about 300 to 400 watts. Uh, usually these run at about 10 watts per foot. Okay, so we plug that in, uh, and there's our uh, wattage. So now I'm going to plug this into here, and let's see what we get. So we are, yeah, we're getting, we're getting 400, we're getting 400 watts. So it looks like the line is good. Uh, so it. Uh, <laughs> It appears that it's frozen between the end of this cable and the well. So unfortunately, well, unfortunately we'll have to wait until that thaws, which is probably going to be well into April. Once the, uh, the, the ground starts to thaw, it could even be into May. Um, but the, I guess the good news is, is we don't have to replace the heat line. So yeah, the good and the bad. Somebody's in my way. Koda. Koda. What are you doing? Are Koda. you looking for affection? Koda. Koda loves his <laughs> So mom. Tara took off the, uh, which one were you wearing? You were wearing this yes. one. Yes. She took this off and she goes, oh, you're right. It is the blend of alpaca and, uh, sheep. and sheep. So you can see the different, uh, yeah. uh, the different uh, colors there. Uh, so those are... Uh, yeah, so those these are, are all alpaca with a line, thin line of uh, sheep through it. And then this is sheep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those are the ones. And then, yeah. um, so yesterday, on Saturday, we, um, we had a class. So we had a mitt making class. Now you've got your pair of mitts over here. Uh, there's also moccasin right here, class. Right and, oh, there's more over there? Yeah, yeah that's, that's my one favorite. Here. Those are... Yeah, so this is basically what it looks like here. Um, and uh, there's different variations of them. This is fur on the outside and it looks like a uh, uh, kind of a, just a, a liner on the inside. Well, and more on like the reason we don't have the shop is because you pay overhead and not as much goes to the animals. Yeah, so here's another one. This one doesn't have a liner in it. Um, oh, here's the one I was thinking. So this is the kind of the reverse. So the fur is actually on the inside and the leather is on the outside. So there's a few different ones here, and uh, we had uh, we had a bunch of women out from uh, the co correctionals, Cor yeah, correctional facility. A bunch of uh, a bunch of women came. It out. was a lot of fun. Yeah, and they um, they they sat at the, in the kitchen here in, in dining room area and uh, cut out the patterns. Uh, a lot of chit chatter going on. Uh, just a lot, so I couldn't really. You know, record. I would have had to bleep out a lot of stuff because <laughs> <laughs> you get a bunch of women together. Uh, there's uh, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on. We both on. work together and our friends. They're a lot of fun. The class <laughs> is, anyways. Yeah. So um, so they they were here. You know, pretty late. I think it was about six o'clock. Uh, and everybody seemed to have a really good time. Uh, they uh, they got most of their mitts done. There's a couple touch-ups that they're gonna do for uh, for homework. 
Um, but um, but yeah, it was um, it was one of the last classes that we uh, are doing this year. There is a seed swap next weekend, yeah. uh, but generally during the winter months is when we do the uh, the classes inside because we're not outside as much yeah. as uh, we are in the summer months. So to give, give you an idea, we have twenty five of these for sale. Oh really? That's it. <laughs> twenty five. <sighs> And there's 75 and 65, right? 75 for the alpaca and 60 for the sheep. Yeah, yeah. And they're neck warmers and head warmers as well. And they're very warm. And then we laser engraved the 10 acre woods on there as a patch, yeah. so which is kind of nice. So. Yeah, so get them while you can. Yeah, get them while the, the temperature's cold. Here, here it's cold anyway. Get ready for next winter. Yeah, no, for sure. Tara rearranged, um, she's always rearranging stuff. Always. Uh, this here is, it, it used to be our liquor cabinet slash, you know, Snack snacks. Cupboard. But we don't really drink as much as we <laughs> used to. <laughs> so um, she decided to uh, do some rearranging. Uh, she's got some kits here that she's kind of picked up along the way of different, uh, different crafts. Uh, she used to do a, uh, a kids craft class years and years ago. Um, you know, things like this, you know, keychains out of just leather. Uh, now that we have a laser engraver, we can start doing yes. some laser engraving yeah. as well, uh, which we have done for these. Who buys, who buys uh, these anymore, right? Um, so this is in case you have a physical photo. Um, if, uh, you know, if, if you were born in the last 20 years, you may not have uh, had that physical photo hanging around. Um, but that's what we used this to put nice photos in. Yeah, so this was done a few years back. I believe the dates even. In there. It's every animal that we somewhere. had. Every name yeah. of every animal is in there. Yeah. So that was kind of a, a neat project that I did. Yeah. Uh, and then calendars. So we still have a bunch of calendars yeah. left. Yeah, order your calendars, guys. Uh, so these ones, uh, what are they? They're well, now we're into 20, already, so let's say 20. 20. 25 okay it was 20 so yeah 20 bucks plus shipping it was 25 uh, 20 bucks so pick up 20 and um 25 yeah, I, think I think it was for for uh canada and 30 for shipping internationally or something like that yeah. um check out our facebook page maybe we'll uh redo the uh the post or even just send a message or an email yeah uh if you're uh interested I mean, we're kind of doing it doing it old school just send us a message give us yeah. a call send us a check <laughs> a check yeah a check they still use those you know, I don't even, like, it's so hard when you go pull the checkbook out. You hardly know how to write a check anymore. I know, and checks are so expensive now. Right. Like, we've still got a couple books around of the checks we've had. Yeah. Uh, but mostly everybody's doing e-transfers now. And that brings us to the end of yet another video. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, uh, click on that subscribe button and uh, hang out with us uh, once a week. Uh, anyway, take care, have a wonderful week, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.